Music and literature, the arts, human inspiration often comes from the natural world. We've all experienced connection to physical space. Slot canyons uh, are particularly awe-inspiring to me, and not just because of the artful curves and shapes and wonder of them, but, but how they formed, and, and maybe more specifically, the forces that formed them. Over eons of times, millions and hundreds of millions of years, sand dunes have hardened into sandstone, and then a crack or fissure allows water to come through over and over again in flash floods, and, and debris and more earth and water rushing through slowly carves out these canyons of art. Those forces, those elements have always captivated humans. It's captivated their art, their literature, the way they think. Think of the Greek thinkers, Aristotle and Plato, famously called out the four elements, the, the basic things that form the earth, water, wind, earth, and fire. Now I'm particularly interested by Aristotle because he did something very human in his thinking. He thought about the four elements and thought there has to be more besides these basic things that make up the earth. And so he coined a phrase in Latin, quinta sintia, which is just quinta is the fifth, an essential element, the fifth element. And he proposed the idea that there's got to be something that's the greatest of all elements that holds it together. And this kind of human need for structure and order has pushed our species forward as we've sought to figure out a whole periodic table and all the elements and we've discovered and, and then beyond that a standard model of physics and we've looked and discovered the Higgs boson. We're always trying to go deeper to understand particles and matter and energy and gravity and the things that make us fully alive which by the way we should never stop doing. However, when I think about the essence of the elements, the earth, the wind, the water, and the fire, I think about something that we miss out on if we don't appreciate those natural pieces. They've inspired so much art. They've moved so much music and literature, like the Hebrew poet who speaks of uh, the dust from which we've came and the dust that we will return to in the, in the narrative of Genesis. But the interesting thing to me is that religion often clings too much to the idea of the fifth element. In fact, to me, it's the uninteresting kind of religion. It's escapism religion. It's the, the type of thinking that says that there's always something better out there that's supernatural or beyond. And the fallacy in that, to me, is that you miss how super the natural is, that nature is super. Why is there something rather than nothing? Everything is a miracle. And so one way of recapturing this idea one way of understanding the power it actually has to transform our lives is to revisit the four elements and think about the art and the literature and the things that have called us to remember what it means to touch and have tangible expression of the real world. One of the other things that's incredibly powerful about a slot canyon to me is you can think about and you can reason and you can be in awe of the forces, but it really is ultimately the resultant canyon what's been changed over time that impacts me. That water and even wind blowing through here over millions of years have created something with slow change and it's beautiful and geological. And, and I'm not sure that religion or Christianity that's more interesting wouldn't be an understanding of the way in which we change in those same elemental ways over time and process. So the challenge for us then is not to escape but to engage and ultimately, hopefully, to experience God in the natural world. The same thistle round your head Are the walls I find myself in The same 
it's safe inside It seems the darkness I still reside Amidst all the definition Our experiences are around Enough for me